Every child needs a friend. Every child needs a hand. Every child needs someone in their corner. The learning's just begun. So come and have some fun. Inspired to be anything you want. Welcome to Kyra's Corner. Butterflies, let's learn. Oh, hello, beautiful butterflies. <sighs> Miss Kyra was just taking a little nap. I was just resting my eyes just a little bit. <laughs> However, when my mother told me that she was resting her eyes, she would fall asleep. Can you believe that? <laughs> But I am up because I was waiting for my beautiful butterflies. I just have to see those sweet little faces out there. I hope you had a fabulous day because Miss Kyra has a bedtime story. Did you hear that? Hmm. Oh well. It could be my imagination. Sometimes we think we hear things like that. I know you had to hear that. You know what? I think I know what those cute little laughs and doof doof stumps are. This is the special surprise that I really wanted to share with you. I have a bedtime story about three little cute creatures that doof doof all night long. Sometimes you may hear a little singing and dancing and reading and even some laughing while you're trying to sleep. It could possibly be a doof doof, but who knows? Go and snuggle up like me and Mimi <laughs> and get your blanket and let's sit down and get ready for a wonderful story time called The Doof Doofs. The Three Doof Doofs by Claudie Potter, Stephen Wallace, and Wynand Buckle. that? What is that doof, doof, doof noise? A cat? A mouse? A visitor in the house? No, it's something even furrier than a cat, even cuter than a mouse, and much tinier than you and me. the three doof doofs. These sweet creatures have only one foot each to hop on, and each hop makes a thumping doof doof on the floor. Solly Doof, the smart one, who is always thinking long and loud. He us and us and doof doofs all night long. <laughs> he 
He reads daytime stories to the other doof doofs because, unlike you and me, that is when they sleep. Stinky, stinky, solid doof prefers reading over bathing anytime. And here is Sally Doof, the smallest and sweetest doof doof of the three. In a little quiet voice, she sings dooby dooby doof doof songs when it gets a bit too quiet in the night. <laughs> She likes finding shiny things and cuddles. Snuggly, huggly Sally Doof, who loves to sing. Don't forget Silly Doof, the funniest Doof Doof in the house. He is always joking. Wiggly, giggly, Silly Doof will make you laugh until your tummy hurts. He cheers up the other Doof Doofs whenever they feel sad. He loves to dance on his big silly foot to the songs that Sally Doof sings. So, if at night you ever hear a strange doof doof noise again, remember, it's just the three doof doofs reading, singing, and dancing on their one doof doof foot. So, sleep well, little one, or keep one eye open. Because maybe, just maybe, you'll see three cute little creatures hopping past on one foot, going doof, doof, doof. <laughs> the end. The three doof doofs. Hi, beautiful butterflies. Miss mm. Kyra just had to have a little bit of tea. Did you love that bedtime story? Who was your favorite doof doof? <laughs> I like Silly too. He's so funny. We had Silly, Solly, and Sally. Oh, I could sing with Sally all night. I love her little dooby 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 doo doof doof song. <laughs> Can you sing that with Miss Kyra? Dooby 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 doof doof song. Can you move too and do a little dancing like silly doof? <laughs> One more time. Dooby 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 doo doof song. Yes, I love that. You know, I love hearing your sweet little voices singing with Miss Kyra. Now we have doof. What letter do you hear? That very first letter in doof. Yes, you are so smart. The letter D. Doof. Doof, doof. I love this story. You know why? 
because sometimes we can use our imaginations. We can be very creative and imagine things. We can see things, we can hear things, we can pretend that we are kings and queens ruling over a never, never land out there. I mean, it's so cool to be able to use our imaginations. Now, I'm wondering, do you think that the doof doos are real? <laughs> I don't know. But you know what I do know? I know that if I were able to make, meet a doof doof, I think I would probably love to meet all three of them. I mean, I was trying to choose one, but I can't really choose just one because all of them are so cool, you know? They all have different talents, different hobbies. Sally, she loves to sing. Solly, he loves to read. And Silly, he loves to tell jokes. I mean, those are wonderful talents and hobbies that they have. Is it something that you love to do? What is a talent and a hobby that you love? Like Miss Kyra? I love to sing and I love to read. What's your talent? Okay. I love that talent. Yes. <laughs> so what would you do if you met a doof doof? What would you do? What would you say? Yes! I think we will have the most fabulous conversations. I can ask them, where did they live? Where do they come from? Do they have parents? Um, all kinds of questions. <laughs> and why do they come at night? I know, but you know what? Even if the doof doos are real, or not real, they're really still fun to think about. They're fun just to think about and to just see what kind of conversations that we can have. And it's always nice to know that they're very sweet and harmless creatures. They wouldn't hurt a fly. So when you go to sleep at night and you hear those doof doof stumps and singing dooby dooby doo doo and laughing and telling jokes just know that's just the three doof doofs so just sleep tight little ones and just be at peace and get some good rest I love seeing you all every day so that's another bedtime story and story time here in Miss Kyra's corner and I will see you beautiful butterflies again. Sleep tight. Goodbye. Mimi's already asleep. <laughs> Goodbye, beautiful butterflies. I'll see you soon. If you would like to see another episode of Kyra's Corner, please subscribe and click like. I can't wait to see you beautiful butterflies again. Remember, be kind to each other and be kind to yourself. <laughs>